everyone has stated uh, for sure. And just to go back to what the initial question was in terms of what does it, you know, what does leadership mean? And, and they explained it so very well. What I would just uh, add just from my own personal take on it um, is basically saying the same thing is I really do believe that in order to be an effective leader and what that really means is you truly have to first know yourself and also be leading yourself in the most aligned ways in order to lead others. Because if you can't really lead yourself effectively and, and also be taught by others to uh, become a better leader, then you really have no place in leadership. Uh, leadership will always start with the foundation of who you are, and it's always gonna be the continuation of you evolving at every single phase of the journey, and also allowing life to teach you uh, how to be the best leader in your life, and then also to serve the people who you're here to serve. You can only advance your mission if you are uh, continuously advancing yourself and working on yourself and also keeping that as the forefront is that what you're here for is so much bigger than who you are and even bigger than our trials or anything that we have faced. When we keep that at the forefront, we, we make the most epic leaders because if we can lead ourselves through so many different uh, phases of life and phases of the journey, then it definitely overqualifies us to me more so than any uh, degree that we could get, uh, any of what most people deem that make us successful. When we can be successful at being who we are and leading ourselves in the most aligned ways through the journeys, then that's what makes us an effective leader for sure. And with women coming more together and rising in, in the power that we have and, and coming out of the shadows. I, I've been talking over the last year about queens coming out of the shadows, more like the, the Queen Esthers of this era, coming out of the shadows and no longer allowing their gifts or their voices to be uh, hidden or diminished. And also, too, developing the new voice that's coming through because a lot of times you know, we have our journeys and we have our stories, but we have to remember that we're more than just one story. We really need to allow the evolution of who we are to unfold because our emerging tribes that we are here to lead are ones that are gonna be more connected to the, the, the greater parts of our journeys that have been unfolding. And some of our older stories, they won't necessarily you know, be, connected to that. So I believe we need to have room in our leadership to allow our stories and journeys to evolve and expand. Yeah, yeah beautifully said, Alika, beautifully said.